Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use reports to display and further calculate results from a query. You can also use them to calculate statistical results on tables or queries for summary reports. They're simply a more concise and certainly more printer-friendly way of presenting the data that we have calculated in our queries to anyone who needs to view it. They use fields like forms do, and also share much in common with the form design view, but reports typically have a query as their basis versus a table. A simple way to create reports is to use the report wizard. You can start the report wizard by first selecting reports and then clicking new in the database container. In the new report dialog box that appears, select the report wizard option and then use the drop down button at the bottom of the dialog box to select the query or table upon which you wish to base the report. Then click OK to start the report wizard. In the first screen, it will ask you what fields you would like to see, and you can select selected fields and click the single right pointing arrow to move them over to the selected fields list. Or if you'd like to add all the available fields from the query, you can click the double right pointing chevrons to move them over to the right. Click Next. It asks if we would like to add any grouping levels. So for example, would I like to see the order ID and the sales amount of each order for each unique salesperson as the group. And that will ha eliminate having the salesperson's name appear right next to each order in each sale. So in that case, I probably would want to group by that. So I could select the salesperson and click the single right pointing arrow to add that as a group. If grouping is applied in a report, you can then perform additional information, statistical analysis, on the order ID in the sales. So when we click Next, it asks what sort order and summary information do you want for the detail records, the detail records being the ones by which we are not grouping. So if I click Back, that would be the order ID in the sales. So when I click Next to go back to this screen, at first it asks, would you like to sort those? And so I could use the drop down and choose to sort by order ID. And then I can click ascending or click it to switch to descending to the right. For summary options, if I click that button down below, here it asks what summary values would you like calculated? So here I could see the sum of sales for each grouping, which in this case would be the salesperson. And over to the right I can choose to show the detail and the summary meaning every single order, and then a summary of all the orders and the amounts for each salesperson, or I could just do a summary only, just sum the sales and show me the salesperson. I'm going to choose detail and summary. Also, you can check the checkbox to calculate the percent of total for sums, so you could see how much of the total amount sold did each salesperson contribute in this example. So I could click OK at that point, click Next, this screen asks how you would like to lay out your report, and you can choose a different layout and look at the preview to the left to see how it would appear. You can also choose portrait or landscape orientation, so if you have quite a few fields, you might choose landscape. Also down at the bottom, you can check the checkbox to adjust the field width so all fields fit on a page to ensure that all the information will fit on the page. Click Next. Here you get to choose a style by selecting the name of the style from the list and looking at the preview to the left. When you have a selected style you prefer, just click Next. Here it wants to name your report. And you can type in the name that you'd like to give to the report and simply click Finish to preview the report. And if you happen to base the report on a query, which needs parameter values in order to operate, anytime you run the report, it runs the query, forcing you to fill in the values needed. So here we can see the report in the print preview and you can click on it to zoom in and zoom out. So here we're seeing each grouping, each person, the order and the sales, 
And then for each grouping, which we'll have to go to page two, and you can use the navigator in the lower left corner to go to the different pages. You'll see the sum of the salesperson. He has 41 records, so 41 sales. The sum of all his sales and the percentage of the total sales. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.